Hi, welcome back. On this video here, I want to show you how to start communicating uh, with MySQL using PHP. Now, one thing that I forgot to tell you in the last video is that you can always go back and it's common sense, but it might not be common sense if you are very new to PHP. You can always go back, PHP my admin, of course. I need to put my admin. You can always go back to where you were before and edit stuff so you can update the information that was there so always make sure that you if you want to go back and update stuff you can just make sure that you come here and you click whatever you need to click here and you can even update some of this information if you want you click on the table you edit and then you can update stuff all right so anyway now that we're done with that uh, I just didn't want you to think that every time you make something you cannot come and update it just in case I wanted to give you that information but anyway so let's go ahead and, and create a markup because now that we have a database and now that we have a table with some data in there we need to actually have PHP communicate with MySQL and find out something about this data or create new data right so it would be fun to do that so let's do that alright so let's come here somewhere and right click on it and let's create a folder. I'm gonna call this folder MySQL. MySQL. All right, perfect. So I have this folder here called MySQL. I'm gonna right click this folder, I'm gonna create a new file, and I'm gonna call this login. The reason why I'm gonna separate this from everything else here is because I want you to have these files uh, just in case you have any issues connecting with MySQL. I'm gonna click enter, I have this login here. Actually, it's gotta be login.php enter there we go all right so uh, we need some markup for this and I will be using this markup so I'm just gonna copy that I should have do it it did a save as on on that file but that's fine let's go to login save it all right one last thing that I'm going to do here and just this is just personal preference is that I'm gonna go to get bootstrap the reason why I'm going to do this is because I want some styles for my phone. I don't like my phones to be completely empty uh, with no styles. I want a little style. Not too much, but not too little. All right? So I got a course on, on the, here on the platform, Udemy, about, get, about Bootstrap. All right? So if you like what I do here, you can always look up that course and learn something about it. All right, so I'm just going to link this, and this is basically a framework that's going to make your applications responsive, and then it's going to make it really nice, and you're going to see in a minute how we can make a form look really good. All right, so now that, that it's linked, I don't need this anymore. I just need a browser. Oh, whatever. That's fine. Let's just open it up, open it up again. All right. What I need here is a markup, so I'm going to do that. All right. So basically, what I what I linked here is a framework. Okay. Don't get it confused. This is just going to make my application responsive, and your application, if you want to do that, and we'll make it nice and pretty if you know how to use it. So I'm going to create a form. I'm going to first create a div here with a container class. You don't have to use this, by the way. If you already know how to create a form. And you don't want to just go ahead and use this what I'm using right now that's fine I suggest you use it so that way you can learn something new all right so I created a div with a class of container and inside here I'm gonna create a, another div with a, a class of XS sits these classes that I'm putting right here has to do with this framework here they already predefined inside this framework and they're gonna make my application more uh, responsive and they're gonna do, put put some classes into them all right put some styles into to my application to my markup or HTML if you want to call it that so I'm gonna have a form here inside this this is basically the grid a grid um, class okay for those of you that know HTML and I'm gonna create another div here with a class of form group all right and an input field where a class of form control all right that's 
fine. Actually, that's fine. All right, form control and this 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 diff right here. As a matter of fact, I should have created a label for my for my inputs, but I'm gonna do that later. So I'm gonna create the second input. It's gonna be password. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one here, let's create a label for it because it looks really bad. Label for username. Let's call it username here. And let's copy that one into the next one. And let's just make this a little bit better. All right. This is because my resolution is so big, so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. That's why it looks like this, but I can make it smaller like this and then fix it up. All right. Hopefully, you are seeing this. I'm just going to fix it up real quick. And all right. So let's just put it right here. That's fine. This will, this form here has a problem. It's Let's just fix this real quick. Right here, this is form control. Control. Let's just fix that. And let's just fix it right there. All right? So now we need to put another class here. Well, actually, we're done with the classes here. But this is a password label. Password label. Jeez. All right. And this, of course, has to be password too. We are getting everything ready to be sending this via method, via post. Okay. And if this is here, that's fine. There we go. Scary, right? Scary. Make sure that this will. go to the same page login.php and the first the username field we need to pass in the username to the post super global and this one we need to pass in the password should know how to do this already <coughs> excuse me all right all right <coughs> I'm losing my voice sorry guys all right so all right, so we need a submit button here. Okay. Login form. Let's make a button here. Submit. And I'm doing this a little faster. I'm not explaining much since you already should know how to do this HTML. If you don't, you uh, need to do that. Because um, if you want to know about PHP really good, you need to know how to implement it with HTML. Uh, you don't have to be an expert on HTML, but you got to know a little bit. So let's make this button called Submit. Let's name it. Let's put a name attribute here called Submit. Let's uh, put a value here of Submit with a capital S. And that would make my button really. Oh, and let's just do another class here just to make a button looks good, look good. So if I go back here and I see my button is black right here. And it's actually sending get information here. If you notice, this sending in the URL is sending some information, and we talked about that already. So, but anyway, that's another topic. Let's make give us some class here. BTN primary will make this look good with this framework. All right. Oh, uh -huh, nice, right? That takes a lot of classes to make that little bond like, like that. A lot of styles, and we were able to do it with only two classes, all right, with this framework. So we created the markup now, and on the next lecture, I think this lecture is already big enough. We will create a way to for this to submit and receive this data via post in the other side, all right? So perfect. Thank you so much for watching this, and uh, hopefully you get this down. This will be in your course exercise files, but don't get lazy. Do it. It uh, will benefit you. Thank you so much, and i see you in the next lecture.